A clean piece of copper is placed in a solution with silver nitrate. Uh, the balance net ionic equation is, so it's given there. They say define oxidation in terms of electron transfer. Okay, so remember what is oxidation? It is the loss of electrons. Okay, so that is the loss of electrons. Okay, right, and they say to us what type of reaction does copper undergo in this reaction? Uh, they say choose from oxidation or reduction. So if you look at copper, it starts with an oxidation number of zero over there, right? And it becomes two plus. It tells you that it has lost electrons. So it does mean that that is oxidation, right? And they say explain the answer by referring to oxidation numbers. Okay, we can say that uh, copper... Um, moves from an oxidation number of zero uh, to two plus. Okay, so copper moves from, okay, uh, zero to two plus. Okay, showing us that it has actually lost electrons. All right. Uh, so that is how we're going to answer that. Right, now let's go to the next one. Okay. Um, they say sulfur dioxide gas, that is SO2, is bubbled into an acidified potassium uh, solution of potassium permanganate, as shown in the diagram below. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, a potassium permanganate. Okay, so they say it is observed that the solution turns purple uh, to colorless due to the reduction, okay, of the permanganate iron, right, uh, into the Mn2 plus iron, okay. Uh, they say during the reaction, sulfur dioxide is oxidized uh, to sulfate ions. Okay, now they say determine the oxidation number of uh, manganese in the permanganate iron. All right, so first of all, ladies and gents, uh, that's KMNO4. Uh, I'm not sure why they wrote uh, two minus there, uh, because then it would suggest that it is uh, K2 uh, when it actually has, uh, it is with, uh, with uh, potassium. But remember, the permanganate ion is MnO4 minus, right? So I want you to please uh, note this very carefully. So we note, we know that oxygen usually has an oxidation number of 2 minus, right? It is in period 6 of your periodic table, right? So that means... In this case, if I take uh, for the permanga uh, uh, the potassium, or rather for the manganese, rather, um, in this case, so if I say, well, it's going to be the oxidation of manganese plus the oxidation of four times my oxygens, right? Uh, so uh, four times my oxygens. And now note that it would form a negative one. So you'd have this guy giving us negative one at the end, right? So what does that say to us? Okay. Um, so it gives us negative one. So that means if I take my permanganate iron, right? Whatever the oxidation state of it is, plus four times, Remember, oxygen, I said, is negative 2. This would give me negative 1. So, ladies and gents, to get the oxidation number, so 4 times negative 2 will give me negative 8. If I bring it to the other side, negative 1 uh, uh, plus 8 would give me positive 7. So, the, uh, the oxidation state of my manganese iron there would be 7+. plus. Okay, so that is how 
the cookie crumbles ladies and gents and we come to the end of this okay uh, that was out of 150 right and ladies and gents if you are still struggling with the maths and science please note that our camp is coming up uh, that is between the first of uh uh, july till the 5th of july please do join us there if you want more details you can go on to our website www.mlungisinkosi.co.za or you can even go on to our socials okay that's underscore mlungisinkosi on instagram or you can say mlungisi underscore nkosi underscore center uh, on both instagram as well as on um tiktok all right. Uh, but all the descriptions that you need will be on this video. I hope that you were able to enjoy that. I will see you guys again next time. And please don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll see you guys. Shop shop.